Welcome to the first episode of Recipe Reviews with a Twist. In these videos, I'm gonna show you guys a recipe that I randomly make for dinner from online or from a cookbook. Now, in these recipes, sometimes I'm gonna adjust them and explain why, and other times, I'll just make them as is. The whole point is you will see how I evaluate recipes as a professional chef. With this knowledge, you will gain some principles of recipe building and cooking. This first recipe comes from momontimeout.com. I chose this recipe because it happened to be Mother's Day and I wanted something comforting. Simple as that. As you know or will know, I don't like calling any recipe the best. This recipe is called the best chicken marinade. Usually I steer far away from these recipes because they give no context. You have to, you have to look at all the ingredients and decide whether you're gonna want that for dinner or not. But like I said, it was Mother's Day and I was giving this mom and her website a chance. So you can ask, okay chef, then what would you call this recipe? Good question. So for renaming this, we have some key ingredients in this recipe. We have rosemary, balsamic, soy, and chicken. So maybe I would name the recipe something like juicy balsamic and rosemary glazed chicken, or grilled or roasted balsamic and rosemary glazed chicken. This would probably hit a lot of keywords in the search bar that are searched millions of times each year. Grilled, roasted, chicken, glazed possibly. Now, before I start this recipe breakdown, I wanna let you guys know that this recipe is actually pretty good. I'm not bashing this mom and her nice website. I'm just sharing how a chef thinks and evaluates ingredients. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give her a rating out of 10. Right away when I look at this recipe, I evaluate some ratios. Ratios of sweet, sour, salt, and spice. Now there is spicy mustard in this recipe, but honestly, especially in a marinade, I don't consider mustard to be spicy, so I'm just gonna cancel that out of the equation. Sour has another word, and that is acidity. This is one of the first things that I evaluate when looking at a recipe. Now, a typical vinaigrette has a ratio of one part acid, three parts oil. This is the baseline of acidity that most people enjoy. Last thing, this recipe says chicken breast. In the video that I'm about to share with you guys, I cook the chicken in a way called spatchcock. Spatchcock is just when you take a whole chicken and you remove the back spine so you can lay it out flat. The benefit of this is it cooks more evenly. The breasts and thighs cook in a similar time frame, leaving the chicken much more juicy. <music> All right, guys, let's go over the momontimeout.com, the best chicken marinade recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the ingredients and let you know what I did differently. Uh, the first change I made is I changed the half cup of balsamic to a third cup, which is a, just a slight difference. I wanted it a little less acidic. So uh, the next change I made was I did just keep this as regular soy, and then I canceled out the teaspoon of salt um, at the bottom here. If you use low sodium soy like she does, yes, this is probably necessary, but if you use regular soy, I think it would be a little bit salty with this addition here. So just a heads up, watch out for that. The next adjustment I made is the Worcestershire sauce. Um, it is at a quarter cup. I lowered that to three tablespoons instead of a quarter cup, which is four tablespoons. This is a very strong sauce. It gives uh, it gives recipes a more complex dynamic flavor because it is a little bit funky. Um, but a quarter cup was a little too powerful and I don't want it to dominate the balsamic and soy in the recipe. So I just lowered that a little bit. The only thing I changed at the bottom in the description in the recipe that I've adjusted here is the measuring metric of lemon juice. An eighth of a cup, who even knows what an eighth of a cup is? So an eighth of a cup is two tablespoons. So just a heads up, that's why I wrote two tablespoons. I didn't adjust this actually. Uh, the lemon juice is a great addition to this recipe. What it does is it helps recipes 
boosts that nice fresh flavor and you know makes your palate pop the next change i made is the brown sugar i lowered it to half a cup because i know the reason why three quarters of a cup is here because she is trying to keep this as a nice sticky glaze but honestly half a cup still made it a nice sticky glaze and probably was a little bit healthier to be honest next on the list was the two teaspoons of dried rosemary i used fresh rosemary you can use dried i prefer to chop this up a little bit instead of having long strands of rosemary because it is a powerful herb two tablespoons of dijon mustard that is a perfect ingredient for this because it goes so well with worcestershire sauce and balsamic right there's dijon in so many different vinaigrettes including balsamic vinaigrette because they go so well together ground black pepper and garlic powder i left those the same and then the only difference was that i did whole chicken cut spatchcock which you'll see in the video that's coming up um, but the good thing about this recipe is it's good for all kinds of chicken and overall i barely made any changes here the only thing i added to this recipe was a little bit of thyme and oregano and that was a personal preference but it gives a little more complexity to the recipe and it's a nice dance between herbs here. Rosemary, thyme, and oregano work so well together and they also work really well with soy sauce and balsamic. So that was personal preference. I think it's a little bit better. It gives a little bit more range of herbs and flavor, leaving the rosemary as your dominant flavor. So that wraps up exactly how I look at ingredients. This is a pretty basic recipe, but it's balanced really well. And you will see that in the rating at the end of the video. Like I said, there was no real spice component to this recipe. She wrote spicy brown mustard here, but if you really wanted a little spice in it, I would just add a quarter teaspoon or a half teaspoon of dried chili flakes. That would give you a little bit of spice in your life and and actually would work with this as well. And that is the breakdown, guys. Enjoy the cooking demo. On the road, I've been away for far too long. But now I'm on my way back home. I hear the west winds calling I'm my name They're telling me to head your way Down your road and past your gates Keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found the setting sun for you to fall into my arms the place I call my home I was looking to belong when I already found Look 
So I give momontimeout.com a 9 out of 10 for her the best chicken recipe marinade. The reason being is I know this recipe is delicious even without my adjustments. And the metrics I'm going to use to evaluate these recipes is did I have to add a bunch of stuff or subtract a bunch of stuff from the ingredients list to make this recipe good? The answer for this one is not really. You know, I just fine tuned it a little bit, so I'll give her a 9 out of 10. So great job, momontimeout.com. You definitely know how to cook, and in the future, I might check out some of your other recipes. That's a wrap, guys. Thank you all for watching Diaries of an Injured Chef. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It helps tremendously. Until next time, peace.